Several migrants keep flooding the UK borders despite Starmer's promise to tighten border security. The Prime Minister seems not to have a clue on what is going on. So sad. Just three weeks ago, Starmer came out swinging, pledging a staggering £84 million to projects in the Middle East and Africa in a supposed effort to curb illegal migration. Yet, as we've continued to witness on our TV screens, this stance has done little to deter the constant stream of migrants making the dangerous journey across the English Channel. I don't want them to live here. I don't want them here. They came under false pretenses. Many of them came illegally and continue to come illegally. And we don't want them here. In today's video, we are going to show you how porous the UK border has become lately. But before we begin, if you've not already, subscribe to our channel and ring the bell for upcoming updates. Now pay close attention. In recent weeks, we've seen a disturbing trend play out on the shores of the UK boatload after boatload of illegal immigrants arriving unchallenged, with law enforcement seemingly powerless to stop the influx. And despite promises from Labour leader Keir Starmer to tackle this crisis, it's clear that his government's approach is proving woefully inadequate. Time and time again, we see video footage of these illegal boats arriving on our beaches, packed with young, fighting-age men who simply waltz ashore without any intervention from the authorities. It's a sight that is understandably enraging many British citizens, who are rightly concerned about the safety and security of our nation. The public outcry has become so severe that police have now made a staggering 595 arrests of British nationals following protests up and down the country. These include allegations of violent disorder, theft and antisocial behaviour, all while the government appears paralysed in the face of this growing crisis. The simple fact is that Keir Starmer's Labour government has proved woefully inadequate when it comes to addressing the issue of illegal immigration. Despite their lofty rhetoric and grandiose spending pledges, the reality on the ground is that our borders remain porous and our communities are being put at risk by this endless influx of undocumented migrants. And let's be clear, this isn't just about statistics or politics. These are real people, real families who are justifiably concerned about the security and well-being of their country. They want to see strong, decisive action taken to secure our borders and protect our way of life. But so far, all they've seen is a limp-wristed response from a Labour leadership that seems more interested in virtue signalling than actually solving problems. Now, I know that some of you watching will accuse me of being heartless or xenophobic. But the truth is, this has nothing to do with race or nationality. It's about upholding the rule of law and ensuring the safety and prosperity of the British people. And right now, Keir Starmer and his government are failing us on that front. This sentiment is echoed by the renowned author and social commentator Douglas Murray, who has been a vocal critic of the government's handling of the immigration crisis. In his latest book, The Strange Death of Europe, Murray argues that the UK's open-door policy on immigration has been a disastrous experiment, leading to increased crime, social division and a fundamental erosion of British identity and values. The sad truth is that our political class has shown itself to be utterly incapable of dealing with this issue sensibly and responsibly, Murray writes. They are more concerned with virtue signalling and appeasing the demands of radical activists than they are with protecting the interests and security of the British people. And Murray is not alone in his assessment. Across the country, ordinary citizens are voicing their frustration and despair at the government's failure to secure our borders and stem the tide of illegal immigration. They are tired of seeing their communities transformed beyond recognition, and they are demanding a return to the rule of law and common sense policies that put the needs of the British people first. So, what's the solution? Well, for starters, we need a government that is willing to take tough, decisive action to secure our borders and stem the tide of illegal immigration. This means investing in effective border controls, deporting those who enter the country unlawfully, and cracking down on the criminal gangs that are exploiting vulnerable people. It also means having the courage to stand up to the left-wing activists and open borders lobby, who seem determined to undermine our efforts at every turn. 
Because at the end of the day, the safety and security of the British people must come first. Only then can we truly begin to address the deeper societal and economic challenges that are driving this crisis in the first place. But until Keir Starmer and his government show the backbone to take meaningful action, I'm afraid we're going to be stuck in this endless cycle of failure and frustration. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for joining us today and don't forget to subscribe for more updates on this and other crucial developments. Until next time, take care.